There's that thing. Not sure what this is. Uh, requires, okay. Requires no fuel. Great. What does that mean? What does that mean? Okay, well, let's check this out, I suppose. Maybe this is the murder scene? I don't, I don't know. No idea what this is. Hello? Yeah, it's leading down, and uh, it said the murder scene was in the lower library, so... Fellow keepers, many of us are called elsewhere this night, but for those that remain, I now bring this council to order. The question we consider first is whether access to Kataka's chambers shall be prescribed. Shall we remove a guard from the Grand Hall and set him to guard the scene of Interpreter Kataka's murder? Garrett will no doubt seek to return to the scene of his crime. Let us place a guard, ensuring an end to his malice for once and all. A guard will hardly stop Garrett, and will only cause trouble for our own work. The violence in the city is growing. We need not add to it by arming our own against each other. Let Katika's memory retain some privacy. There is nothing to be gained by picking over her rooms. Place a guard that they might warn away those whose curiosity outweighs their respect. Well spoken, all. Weigh all that you have heard, and all that you know in consideration. Remember, a majority vote is needed to take action. If your vote is to be yes, you must step forward and be counted. If your vote is to be no, remain unseen in your alcove. And the question before us is, do you wish to have Kataka's chambers guarded? Keepers, make your decisions known now. The decision of the Council is yes. None shall be permitted entry to Kataka's chambers, and a guard shall be directed to ensure that this is so. The second issue at hand concerns some books in the Elder Libraries which may shed light on the unwritten times. A proposal has been made to bring these precious volumes upstairs to the Hall of Scribes for further study, and where, under many watchful eyes, we might ensure the safety of these valuable chronicles. It is no secret that there have been disappearances. So, shall these books be moved to the Hall of Scribes? The only reasonable vote is for the safety of these precious books. They must be moved. If the unwritten times are truly upon us, then we must learn as much as we can, as quickly as we can. That is best done in the Hall of Scribes, so that more than one can study a volume. The books are fragile and will not stand the move or harsh treatment. They've been safe up until now. They should remain where they are. If there is value, it is in the words, not the paper. And we keepers are not seduced by gold covers. Let them be moved and scribed. Thank you for all your words. Weigh all that you have heard and all that you know in consideration. And the question before us is, should the books in the Elder's Library be brought to the more populated scribe group for study? The decision of the Council is yes. The books shall be taken from the libraries of the elders and brought upstairs to the scribes. If there is no further business, we shall adjourn. You have been reassigned. You are to make sure no one approaches the scene of Catechus murder. By whose authority? By the authority of the council. Now go. This guy, right? This is the guy. Oh shit. I knew it. Is there in the library? Where do you think you are going? Oh, son of a bitch. Ah, there. Again. Hm. Where did you go? 
I'm ticked. I'm ticked off. Because I, I rushed through. And apparently I was supposed to stand there and listen. Um... It was said that uh, somebody in here, somebody in here was assigned to Catechus Chambers, and I thought it was one of these guys. But um, yeah, I think I lost. I insist you reveal you have been found. Oh bullshit! Is there trouble? Hey! Oh, can't God see. damn it, game! There you are. Excuse Quickly, me. We must stop him. Running. Excuse me. But escape. Hey! How many times do I have to blind see. you? Exactly. Is that light? Uh, dormitory. Yeah, I'm just I'm really pissed, guys. You have no idea how pissed off I am right now. So this is a dormitory, all right. Something was in here. Um, yeah, really, really ticked about that. Is Artemis in his room? He asked if he might borrow the letters of the diocese, but I missed him at the evening meal. No, Artemis left nearly before dawn, with no word of his return plans. No word? Orland might find that curious. You've heard the rumors of the rogue keepers, a splinter group, or even groups. Orland would only find it curious if someone were to tell him. And don't you think that there have been more than enough accused already? Yes. Well, if you do see Artemis, tell him that I cannot find the letters. Another must have borrowed them, though I gave no permission. I will tell him if I see him. Uh, something about we'll letters? Turn the light off. Didn't really gather what they were talking about there, but, uh, okay. Um... Hmm. Yeah, it's a good thing the game is so well. The game's easy, really. And uh, you can pretty much get away with anything you want to. You don't have to take it too seriously. But uh, this looks like, like Artemis's room. Maybe I can find out where he went. Okay, I still don't know who Artemis is or why I'm after him. Nothing. Um, you want to put out the. Hmm. There we go. Yeah, you can like you can just goof off as, as much as you want to. The only restrictions in this game are the ones you place on yourself. So, yeah, and I'll do that. Like I said on my personal playthrough, that's when I do my flawless, <laughs> perfect run. I really just yeah don't care about placing that kind of restriction on myself when I'm let's playing. Uh, there is indeed something amiss with Garrett, but I am not convinced of his guilt. The proxies do not lie. Okay, clock tower. Yes, yes, yes. First Keeper Orland acts hastily. The balance is no longer within him. Hmm. I fear for the future of art. So he's been corrupted by somebody. I don't think he's the main baddie, though. That's too obvious. I use my Keeper Ring. Okay, Keeper Ring to open the passages leading to his quarters, but I suppose nothing to validate. I suppose I found nothing. Sorry, I skip words all the time when I read. I found nothing to validate the intrusion. I can only hope that my night journeys uncover something before I am discovered acting outside protocol. Okay. Keeper Moro has gifted the order with a set of golden scales. It speaks to what we have become. Okay. That such a trinket, precious only for its metal, is so valued. They have been placed on display in the Elder's Library. Perhaps I'm mistaken, and they will serve to inspire, okay? At least I may have learned something of the one who lies dormant. Okay, what? My investigation may take several days, but I must leave without permission, okay? What is he talking about? Uh, will I be the next to be accused of treachery? It hardly matters. I do not even bring my robes and my ring with me. Okay, for fear that if I die, our secrets may be compromised. Right, okay. It's a robe and a ring, right? So if I made it to this point, I would have had a disguise. But... Huh. 
Huh? Keep a ring? So we don't get a robe. Uh, the ring does something. I think it opens passageways, right? I don't know, something like that. Hi. Some sound. Yep, something. Some sound. All right. Let's see. What is up here? There is nothing, and I have lessons to prepare. What do we have here? Keeper Cassandra. I'm anxious to see what is happening in the city of. As of late, I almost said, of late, bring me a copy of your reports as quickly as possible. Artemis will use his keeper ring, right, to provide you access to the passages leading to my quarters. First keeper, Orland. So yeah, opens a passage. Great. I don't think that's a readable book there. Let's just go find this passage. There's nothing over here, really. Nothing here. Oh. So Artemis had the ring. Okay. Well, I'm still just after. I wish I didn't have such a perfectionist personality. Your mentality. Because like after that messing up originally, yeah, I just so you stand here all day, huh? That goes nowhere. That's the council chamber. Um, yeah, I feel like the whole mission's ruined now. But I think that's just why I never accomplish anything in life. <laughs> just because I feel like I I, I want to start all over. Every time I slightly mess something up. Do you want to drop that, Garrett? What is this? Keeper Emery. I spied an initiate reading the Bafford Chronicles in the dining hall this eve. Such travesties of the written word may have, blah, 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 may have their place in the nobleman's store, but are inappropriate here. Okay. Monetary value of this book matters not to a scholar. See to it that the book is removed from the hall district where? Dining hall. And what about the scribes who work well, if I make my way back to the dining hall. I'll have to check that out, I suppose. No idea what direction I'm heading in now. To be totally honest. Just gonna go with the flow of the mission, I think. That's what I usually do. Glyph Warden Ruhan. Ruhan. Have you ever heard, or have you heard, of any further untoward behavior on the part of the glyphs in the Scribarium? Scribarium. I like that. Uh, be sure to make note of exactly which scribes and which glyphs have proved difficult. Notify me immediately should any further changes occur. Well, what is the significance here? The so glyphs are acting up, huh? Scribarium sounds like a sounds like terrarium or scribe room. What? Oh, I just stole the bell. Okay. Oh right, this is the opening cutscene thing where the scribe was writing the thing down, <laughs> the rune, and it, uh, and, yeah. Uh, he ripped the page out of the book. Yes, yes, yes. Are you gonna glow? No. Maybe we need to get that note that he ripped out of the book. No. The page. 